Hi, Roman. Greetings from Amsterdam. Thank you for the time. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. How are you? I'm doing so good. Thank you for asking. And uh, how did your camp go at ATT? And were you able to train with the Bellator middleweight champ, Johnny Eblen and also Sabah Homasi? Of course, man. Those are, those are my main guys, man. Always. I always put work in with Johnny and, and Sleek Sheik. Um, camp went awesome. You know, uh, we're here, ready to go. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just ready to perform. Your opponent, Chokeli, had a tough outing in his last fight against Goiti Yamauchi. Did you watch this fight, Roman? And what did you make of his performance? No, I actually didn't watch it. I mean, the guy he was fighting is a jiu-jitsu guy, uh, Uchi Kuchi or whatever his name is. Um, you know, so our fight's going to be a lot different. I wasn't taking anything from that fight. You know, him and I are going to go in here and, uh, you know, we're going to bang it out. It took the company some time, but finally they have you set for your main card debut. I feel like it like it was a really slow grind to get to this point but just like with johnny suddenly everything can go really fast johnny fought salter first which was the number two ring guy and after that straight into a title shot that has to give you some confidence that big things can happen very quick right roman oh yeah this this game is you know can be like a rocket ship to take off out of nowhere um you know i i knew the main car was coming eventually i wasn't really putting too much pressure on that or wasn't too concerned with it as long as i come out here and do my job you know the uh, the main card, all the highlights and all the, you know, glory will come. So I just got to make sure I do what I do and uh, perform. Talking about Sabah Homasi, in my opinion, it's you, Roman, and Sabah Homasi who are lighting up this welterweight division in Bellator MMA. And they both have you ranked at 9 and 10 now, which is a good start. But would you agree, Roman, with those crazy highlights that you both have? More big fights should come your way. Oh, yeah. I mean we're and uh how would i say comparable you know we both go out there and we we put on a show uh saba he goes out there he throws big hands uh he puts people to sleep i do the same thing um you know people want to people want to watch us fight because they know what they're going to get so um yeah it's inevitable we're gonna uh we're gonna continue to grow and uh you know main cards all that stuff title fights coming they're all going to be in the future in the near future yeah, I do not doubt that. Bellator has announced a co-promotion with Ryzen in Japan at the end of this year. Did, did you catch this, Roman? And what, what do you think about two promotions coming together with their best fighters? It's pretty huge, right? Yeah, man, it'd be amazing. I would love to go out there and fight. I was actually just talking to my uh, my my cousin about it, uh, going out there and fighting. He's, some of the, the fans out there are amazing. Um, just the, the culture, everything about it. I, it would be, a, a honestly, a, a dream to go out there and fight and perform. So if that's ever an opportunity, I will definitely take, you know, take it up. Thank you for the time as always, Roman. I cannot wait to see you perform again. Good luck on Fight Night, sir. Thank you, boss. Kobe. Hey, Roman. Kobe from the Pro Sports Podcaster. How's it going? The highlight reel? <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's going great, my dude. Okay, so would you consider Levin to be your most dangerous opponent yet? Uh, yeah. I mean, as far as Bellator goes, um, I'd say honestly, probably my toughest fight up to date was, um, you know, I'll give him the credit, uh, Delano Taylor in my pro debut and he's getting ready to fight in PFL for the, uh, for the belt and that million dollar prize. So, um, but beyond that in Bellator, yeah, Levin's definitely the, 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 I guess the most, uh, dangerous or the most, yeah, the, the danger, most dangerous fighter that I've come to face yet. Now you're both knockout artists. So 100%. are we going to see you take a little bit of a different strategy this fight? Because you've dominated your opponents on the feet each time. Don't insult me. <laughs> I'm, all right. I, listen, I know what I do. I know what I'm capable of. Um, and I'm good at it. Okay. And this guy, he's, he does what he does. And I'm, I'm just better at it. So I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do my game plan. Just like I do every other fight. I'm going to execute and uh, come out with the victory. All right, man. I'm placing another KO finish break on you, buddy. 100%. Jay? Hey, thanks very much, Roman. Welcome back. You know, it's been mentioned a few times now. Obviously, the knockout ability is there. And I'm just curious, when you're in the cage, are you actively looking for the finish? Or is it more a matter of capitalizing when openings present themselves? You know, there's, uh, I can say there's been fights where I've just let the, you know, let it come to me. Uh, I'll say my last fight, a big, big reason why I wasn't, in, you know, I guess uh, uh, happy with my performance was because I was forcing it and I was trying to get the KO instead of just letting the fight come to me and allowing the, you know, you know, my 
talents to just do what they do. So um, it's it's a bit of a mix, but going into this fight, uh, definitely a much clearer head. I'm glad for you know that I got to experience that and go through that in my last fight. And uh, I'm just gonna go out here and do what I do, you know, every day, um, and just let my let my work that I've put in speak for itself. And the other thing that's been mentioned already is the uh, the rankings, your spot in the division, the excitement that you bring. If you do get the win here with 2023 upon us, is this kind of the point where you start insisting on ranked opponents so you can work your way up? 100%. 100%. I'm at the top of the heap, and uh, I'm going to work my way down. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll get through this guy. We'll focus on, you know, one thing at a time. We'll get through this guy. And then, and then uh, obviously, we have an exciting 2023 coming up. And um, hopefully, by the end of the year, we either got a title fight coming or, you know, at least, at least in contention. And last one for me. So you got the, the jacket on there. Is the Windy, Windy City a bit of a shock compared to uh, Florida? Yeah, it's definitely, it's, you know, it's a, it's a big 180, but I'm enjoying it, you know, getting to bundle up, uh, rocking the, rocking the big sweaters, you know, just, uh, taking the experience as it is. It's, uh, it's fun, man. Finally, uh, you know, getting off of the, how do I say just all the, the BS from 2020 and 2021 with COVID and everything. It's been, it's good to just come out here and kind of relax and just focus on the fight. All right. Well, best of luck this Friday. Enjoy it. Thank you. Zane? Zane, you there? Um, hi, Roman. Zane Mander from BJPen.com. How are you? I'm doing great, man. How are you? Good. Kind of like going off of what the last person said. Obviously, Chicago is very new to you. Obviously, you're coming from Florida. What are you most looking forward to fighting in front of Wind Trust Arena and a pretty packed crowd on Friday? Uh, I'm I'm a little confused with the question. Can you ask that one more time? Oh, sure. I mean, obviously, this is probably your biggest fight of your career so far. Mm-hmm. What are you most looking forward to fighting in front of a big crowd? Oh, I mean, you know, that, that's always a good time. Uh, we got a big crowd, main main car, but. Honestly, mostly I'm looking forward to is uh, just uh, getting out into the city, eating some food, enjoying the sights. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of good. Uh, I hear about the, the the culture here as far as you know, pizza and steakhouses, and just getting out and and just enjoying everything while I'm here. So you know, the fight that that's just part of the business. I'm gonna go handle my business, and then uh, we'll go you know enjoy the spoils of Victor. What's your one favorite tourist attraction that you want to check out at some point before you leave? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I don't know. I, I, I've been getting a, a lot of uh, different, uh, different. Uh, how do I say, places to go check out. Uh, I'm really just more excited about the food, uh, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, so I'm just going to go and eat as much as I can. I've been uh, on a diet for the last two months and... Uh, you know, just in, just enjoy, enjoy what I do uh, as much as I can. Killian. Hey, Roman, Killian Yauk here. After your last performance in the post-fight press conference, you said that you weren't very happy with how the fight went. Uh, did you do anything different for this camp to, uh, to make sure that didn't happen? Oh, yeah. Just uh, got back to my roots, man. Stop worrying about, you know, I hate to say it, but with the media and all the hype, stop worrying about what you guys think and and, uh, what you guys want from me and just doing what I do. You know, when I'm doing when I'm performing at my best is when I'm just in in my flow state and enjoying myself. So uh, really just just going out there and, and enjoying, you know, the experience. You know, I I got into this business because I love it. You know, I. I didn't want to work a nine to five and, uh, you know, so instead of, instead of trying to impress everybody and doing it for you guys, I hate to say it, I got to do it for myself and go out here and just and do what I do. And we, we all know that you're must see TV at this point. Uh, and you're a guy, the fans are going to want to tune into every single time. And a guy Bellator is going to want to put in big spots by the end of 2023. Where do you think you're going to be sitting in the Bellator welterweight division? I'll be in the top five. I'll be in the top five for sure. I got, I got, you know, we'll get to this guy and then um, I'll get, I'm probably going to fight, you know, Crutchmer, Neiman, um, or the, I can never remember his name, bro. Uh, the, the Gucci guy. Um, get one of those six, seven, eight, take one of their spots and then maybe get, you know, we'll, we'll finish that contract out, get a new contract 
and then uh, fight in the top five and uh, maybe go into 2024. Maybe even, maybe even finish 2023 with a title fight, but go into 2024 for sure with a title fight in mind and, you know, getting ready for. Thank you for your time, Roman. Thank you.